Hi guys, it's Simply Mainzine and I am back with another Minecraft Basics video. As you can see, we have a different stage than usual. I was recording the videos on the SimpleCraft server and we reset the map and I did not think to take the, the tutorial stage with me. So we have a new scenery for our videos now. So today we will be talking about redstone, just the very basics of redstone. Um, I already did in the mine the mining video how you mine the redstone ore and it comes out as the dust. Now combining the redstone dust with a stick will give you a redstone torch. A redstone torch is how you power your redstone and I'll show you an example of that. Now there's also contraptions that you can um, add redstone to but also work without redstone with just like a, le a lever or a button. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to craft those. To craft the button, it's simply stone. And you remember you get stone by cooking cobblestone or smelting cobblestone in a furnace. And that's gonna give you a button. Uh, you can also get a wooden button <laughs> with a wooden plank. And then there, there's a lever with the stick and cobblestone, cobblestone on the bottom. Okay, and then you get a lever. There's other things, there's pressure plates, and those are um, when you step on them. They can activate the redstone or whatever. I'll show you those and quickly. And just like the buttons, you can also make um, wood planks. There's also uh, a fence gate. Fence gates are um, things that can be operated by redstone. And those are two sticks and two planks. I believe I've already told you how to craft those. There's doors. I know we've gone through doors. Doors can be activated with redstone. And there's iron doors. I'm not sure if I talked about those. Now, iron doors, you have to use um, a button, a lever, or a redstone to work. So I think that covers all of the basic items that I'm going to use today for the crafting. All right, so if you just had a door, you can take just a button, or we'll do a button, and I'll show you with a pressure plate. By just simply pushing the button, it automatically opens your door. So, the same thing goes with the pressure plate. You sit a pressure plate, you step on it, and it opens the door. Now, pressure plates, things like this can be handy if um, you're just, I like if I'm just running out the door, and then the door automatically closes, so you're not having to constantly open and close your door. The same thing works for, let me get over here, <laughs> Gates, I have a gate already placed. And you know, you don't want the uh, animals to get in and trample. So you use your pressure plate and you can just walk in. And every time you step over that pressure plate, it's gonna close the door for you. Another thing is the the lever. It, it's kind of similar. I'm gonna show you an example with the lever on a, let me break this door, on a um, iron door. All right. So you're gonna place the, oh, the iron door and then with the, where's my lever? Lever, lever, I don't know. Um, right there and you just click it and it's gonna open the door. Now the thing that is to be careful with these is that if you use a button and the button is only on this side, you will get trapped in the room. So you would wanna have either a pressure plate on both ends and I can show you a, a quick example. All right, so you would put one here so you can walk in, and then you would also put one here so you could get out. And because they're not like um, regular doors that open when you click them. These have to be activated with some type of um, pressure plate button or lever. So redstone, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about redstone. But I'm gonna show you, like they can be redstone, you can use to power something. We'll, we'll do a, a gate for an example. Let's say if this works. And you put this here in, oh, it's not working. Maybe I didn't put it close enough. Where'd my gate go? Oh, all right. So we'll put the gate there. So you see, it opens it and closes it. So this can, redstone is the redstone dust. And it kind of like, you know, creates kind of like a, a wiring and you need something that can activate it. So that can activate redstone and so can 
your pressure plates. Now, people build a lot of really neat things with this. You know, they'll um, have where the redstone is hidden, and it creates like a secret trap door, um, secret entrances. Like, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Um, I, however, am not very good. Um, just real quick, I almost forgot. Um, the redstone torch also is a way to power the redstone. So, like I said, this is just really basic, not a whole in-depth tutorial, just, um, like I said, maybe not even so much redstone, just the different type of contraptions that can be powered with redstone or just a simple button. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and look out for more redstone videos um, featuring people who know a little bit more than me. All right, guys, bye.